Welcome, citizens, to a special short episode of uh, the Long Dark Survival Journal. You will get to see everything that happens from the beginning, because uh, when I recorded this, for some reason, the audio from the microphone didn't record. I swear I hit it, but as soon as I closed out of the game, there was nothing there. So this whole episode is going to be time-lapsed. We're currently zooming ahead at two and a half times speed right now. Uh, this is just me setting up all the uh, world to make it, you know, a little bit easier. Give me a fighting chance. So I'll probably talk for... I'll probably talk for like a minute or so. And then uh, once we actually get the game started, I'll put some background music on and, you know, jump on in. When I need to. I don't think there's much to do. This game kind of speaks for itself. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. So I did go through, I put a decent amount of work into uh, trying to make this a longer term. And I'd like to get, oh, I got to check the calendar. This video came out the other day, so one, two, three. There should be four more episodes of this uh, for season one before we stop and switch over to the springtime game, which you may or may not know already. I'm planning Fallout 4. And it looks like the game starts, so uh, I'm going to leave you guys with some music. I'll talk to you in a bit.
So here I was searching through the camp office, which is by far my absolute favorite place to stay. It's got two floors, two stoves, usually just loaded full of supplies and firewood and things, and it is right next to Mystery Lake. So you can go, I believe there's three or four fishing huts on the lake. Lots of chance to go fishing. Um, Overall, I mean, it's like just the easiest place to survive, but as you can see, I'm kind of frantically searching around, and that's because when it spawned me, I didn't get any sort of matches or any way to start a fire, even though I'd picked up a 100,000 sticks while I was walking around, so... Uh, I didn't have a light either, so I was forced to just wander around in the dark for the whole time until eventually I do just give up and decide to go look elsewhere, because, I mean, there's no point in wasting my whole day inside. So, as you can see, I'm going to head straight for the lake and really just hope for the best that... Maybe one of the cabins or the fishing huts on the lake will have something of use for me.
So as you can see, I finally managed to find some matches, <clears throat> which what a difference it makes just being able to have something to make a little bit of light and a fire. Uh, it was only one pack. I think it was 12 matches. But even that was just so unbelievably helpful. And it made me so happy I could finally get ready to prepare for nighttime. I didn't have to scramble around trying to find... I, I know there is some way to use, like, if you can find flint and steel, you can light a fire that way. But I don't... Uh, you know, matches are really the easiest in this game. I guess as we uh, approach the end of the video here, I'll just casually talk for a minute. <coughs> or I'll just cough my brains out. Uh, what do I have planned? 
So I think I might change the format of some other videos. Uh, the House Flipper episodes might be shorter. Coming up in a couple of weeks, though. Well, probably not a couple of weeks from when you guys see this, but a couple of weeks from when I'm recording. We're going to be trying to put out a video between four and six days of the week. Um, oh, hang on. We might have something cool here. Yeah. So here's what happened is I think I went to bed in the game. Or maybe I'm going to bed now and the stove went out. Um, but we have a little surprise ending. This is where I was going to actually cut the video originally. I was going to hit the button, call it good, and then we just pick it up next time. Um, but then I got a surprise. You guys can't hear it, but the radio's crackling and stuff, so I realized there's another Aurora. These things that are supposed to be super rare in this game, even when I have them turned down on a low. I got one on the very first night. I had the same thing on the other night. <clears throat> or, sorry, my other game, which was all kinds of interesting. But, uh, yeah, in all the hours I've played this game, this is the first time I was able to get a buffer memory out of a computer. Uh, so that'll be neat. I'll probably read that in the next episode, but this game always gets me with, for as cartoony as the graphics look, it is just really pretty to look at sometimes. Anyway, that's about the end of the video, so, uh, thanks for watching, and we'll be putting out a lot more stuff soon. Bye for now.